Close the door behind me. And lock it. Hurry. I don't want the kids seeing their Easter baskets until the morning. <sighs> Thanks. Here. Help me take these to the bed. My arms are full. <sighs> I scored at the store. Big time. They'd already marked all the Easter stuff down. I guess all the other moms out there are way more prepared than I am. But they paid for being ready so early. Literally. Catch me shopping on Easter Eve from here on out forever. I just stopped by the store on my way home from work. Oh, yeah, sorry. The bags are wet. It was raining when I was running through the parking lot. Where are the kids? Watching a movie in the room. Mm, the one with the bunny? Oh, that is such a good one. I wonder if Hop is on Netflix. I don't think they've ever seen that one. Do you want to help me put their baskets together? And then we can go pile into bed. Catch the end of the movie together. <gasps> Crap! I forgot to grab carrots at the store. What are they going to put out for the Easter Bunny? You did? Oh my god, you are a lifesaver for picking those up. I so did not want to have to run back out to the store tonight. Come here. Thank you so much for remembering carrots. We can't be the only family on the block letting the bunny go hungry. Are the kids excited to leave him out tonight? They bet. Well... Hopefully, they'll be excited to open their Easter baskets in the morning, too. You want to see what I got? First of all, chocolate, obviously. But this bag is to go in the plastic eggs. It's kid stuff. I've got a bag of the good stuff somewhere in here, just for us. Ah, here it is. Your favorite. Here, catch. Ready? Mm. You want to crack that open? Thought we could use something to snack on while we stuff the baskets? Yes, I want one. Duh. Will you unwrap it for me? Put it in my mouth? Mm. Thank you. God, these are good. They have got so expensive, though. And I swear, the bags have gotten smaller. No fancy chocolates for the Easter eggs this year. Just for us. I think we've earned it by playing Easter Bunny. <laughs> Where did you stash the empty baskets? In our closet? Did you see the girls' dresses for tomorrow? I have them hung in here upside down. I heard that's how you get the tool all fluffy. That and hairspray. No, really, hairspray. It's kind of sad, though, because it's the first year that they're not going to match. I tried. I shopped forever. But they're in two different clothing departments now. They're growing so fast. You know, the dresses are so cute. But I like it when they match. I kind of hope she catches back up in size again soon. I know. They get into everything. 
I'm surprised they haven't found them already. Yeah, the baskets would be empty, but the last thing they need is finding evidence of the Easter Bunny before the Easter Bunny's actually been here. You did a good job stashing them. Where did you say they are? In the laundry basket? Because I don't see them. Oh, here they are. Wow, you did do a good job at hiding them. I almost couldn't find them myself. One sec, I'm coming back out so we can fill the baskets. I'm not happy that they've outgrown shopping in the same clothing department, but at least they haven't outgrown this tradition. You don't think that they know, do you? About the... The Easter Bunny thing? Well, sometimes I have to wonder. Maybe wonder is not the right word. Worry about it is more like it. Here, will you line the baskets with tissue paper? I didn't get that plastic grass stuff because this year we got a dog. I heard that stuff can kill them if they even eat one strand. Well, you know how school is. The kids, they just hear so much. You know that's probably where you and I heard the truth about that freaking rabbit, too. And I worry about how long is too long to keep up that story. Exchanging baskets is one thing. It's a tradition. A holiday tradition, a family tradition. One that I hope we will do forever, even when they're all grown up. Because who couldn't use a bucket of candies and chocolates, right? But when are we supposed to tell them the truth? Is it even a truth versus lie thing? Are they going to feel grateful that their parents are really the ones giving them presents all those years? Or are they going to feel betrayed? What if they feel, like, grief over the loss of the Easter Bunny? What if they take it really hard? And Santa Claus, what about him? The second that we tell the kids big bunnies with baskets full of chocolate are not real, what are they going to think about big men with big socks full of chocolate? Our kids are smart. Too smart for our own good. That is why we had to hide the baskets so well. They're going to connect the dots. Someday. And we only get to do this once a year. It's not like we can count on just years and years left of the Easter Bunny thing to enjoy. We have one morning. One day. Who knows? Maybe that's only one or two Easter mornings left. It could be zero. What if they already know? And they're just looking us in the eye. And we're looking them in the eye and they know we're lying and we're still lying. Oh my god. I don't know how parents do it. We have such limited time left with the innocence and the magic and the belief and... <sighs> You're right. You know, at least... We don't have to take tiny little nibbles out of carrots for the rest of our lives. I am. I'm breathing. See? I just really like this with you. Playing Easter Bunny and Santa, Tooth Fairy, everything for our family. See? Look. I even got everyone fuzzy bunny socks. What if they outgrow that, wearing matching clothes with our family? What if they outgrow all of this? Time is moving so fast. Come on, one of us has to worry. If I don't worry, how are you going to reassure me? 
How are you going to come wrap me up in your arms and give me a big fat kiss? Just like that. Thank you. I just don't want to see it all go away. I don't want to see it fade. Yeah? You'll wear the socks? Good, because I got you a pair too. Of course I have matching ones. Here, put them on. Do you want to see the rest of the stuff I got for the kids' baskets? Okay, but keep out of this last bag that's tied up. Got it? Because maybe the Easter Bunny is going to pay you a little visit in the morning too. Now come here. Let me give you the haul. 